viewers and welcome to another Project Cards video. Just a quick race today around Road America. We can see here in the Audi R18, 37 cars in this race. Just uh, just a three lap run again, exploring the circuit and a couple of different points of view as well. I've included a bit more of the bumper cam here in terms of giving you all a feeling of speed and an idea on how massive the field is jostling through all these corners Noting the, the slight jitters in the frame rate are due to the replay of this build I'm running right now. Here we see a bit more of the replay camera in action and with this nice heli cam along this section. I work my way along looking for an opportunity past these guys. Nowhere to go at the moment. Just trying to get my braking right into the corner. Keeping it tight. See a bit of action there. Some AIs going wide, taking avoiding action. Trying to work my way through the field. A little bit of contact, but it's okay. We're still running. So in this run again, using the controller. Uh, this particular car, I'm using all assists. I think at the moment now, I might not be using stability control. I think I'm just using ABS and uh, traction control on this one. Uh, which is uh, suitable for this car as we see just a clip of the in-car action uh, racing along here the cockpit cam with none of the blur that you're used to here as we go around the bend here into a fascinating uh, straight called Kettle Bottom it'll be interesting to know where that came from in terms of the naming and last few corners heavy braking there and that right rolling on couple more corners to the next lap I'm trying to hang on where I can uh, just learning how to drive the course from a personal standpoint I am very comfortable with the wheel but from a, a pad point of view I've always been quite heavy-handed but effective I might add you know it doesn't doesn't have to be pretty how you play the pad it actually feels smoother when you're in car than it actually looks on the outside sometimes I'm like this with all driving games but, uh, still get the times and it doesn't matter if you're moving around like that as it but it does if you're moving around like that so you don't want to be cli clipping curbs but in terms of actual movement you know, as long as you get the car around in one piece you'll get decent competitive lap times so I'm forming a bit of a train behind me now not able to keep up the AI ahead again I think the AI is set to somewhere around 80% Taking a slight knock there as well into the braking zone. Go around under the bridge. Again, I just wanted to thank you all for your feedback uh, on all the Project Cars videos so far. I am noting down the cars and tracks you'd like to see and we'll be recording those in the next few days. Uh, next for me will be a look at the controller settings. Uh, then on to the wheel usage lots of you using a wheel for the first time on a console and for the first time on the ps4 so i'll be going through some of that just uh seeing what the feeling is like with the different cars and looking at any options that you might need to look at just to improve your experience namely the field of view controls depending on where you're sitting it will change your overall feeling and approach to racing games and i always find that when you do invest in a good wheel there's no going back. I stress the word good. You need a decent wheel. If the wheel is flimsy and weak, it doesn't really offer the true experience and you'll still be missing out. So we're coming around the final corner again and on to the final lap of this three lap run. We have a big community announcement coming tomorrow and I, uh, we, you'll be hearing lots about it in the future. So there'll be more about that later. And I hope many of you uh, will come along for the ride of how we're looking to expand Team BVV and grow the community, especially initially with Project Cars and getting more of you involved in what we're doing here. We can see the, the, the sunlight there that's causing so much debate amongst everybody. I like it. I'm going to stick with it as we go on the final lap. Still looks great. Looking forward to my extended Le Mans run, which you'll see next week. Through the trees moment. There they are, lovely rays. 
So I'll go a bit wide there, probably looking at the rays. And I should be keeping more of a focus on the road. I really do like the sky. It's a really nice hue and feeling. And they've really captured the, the, the feeling of different types of sunshine as well in different regions. It's really nicely captured in terms of lighting. We come around the carousel corner again. And bend into Kettle Bottom. There he is. Turn my lights on now as the light is going down at the end of this run. So just a quick race today, nothing too spectacular. Uh, lots of work going into the other projects that we've got coming around Project Cars. Uh, Xbox coverage, lots of people asking me about that. We hope to have some. It's been delayed, obviously. We haven't received the copy yet. So as soon as we receive the copy, you can look forward to seeing some Xbox coverage as well. So Xbox, PC, PS4, lots to come on all of that. As I come across the finish line, that's it for this run on Project Cars more action to follow do check out these other videos and subscribe to the channel to keep up with all of our content and there'll be more from me very soon